Keeneland Select Race of the Week is the Grade 2 Dixiana Elkhorn, mile and a half on the turf course for the boys here at Keeneland. I like the 10 Dynamic Sky. This horse is trained by Mark Cassie. His horses have been running really well at this speed. I also like the jock change to Julian Le Peru. He rides this turf course exceptionally well, particularly on closers, and so he should be an ideal fit in this spot for Dynamic Sky. The other thing I like, if you look back to the two mile and a half turf races for this horse last fall, you'll see that those were two of his better buyer speed figures. So I think a mile and a half might be the distance he likes best. Number 10, Dynamic Sky, hopefully at a little bit of a price in the Dixiana Elkhorn. Katie, who do you like? I actually am looking for a price as well. I ended up taking Holiday Star. That is the six horse that's for Grand Motion barn. Uh, this horse actually runs well fresh. He is coming off a brief freshening. Uh, he actually ran earlier this year and actually he had a big score over a soft turf course here at Keeneland winning the grade three Sycamore last fall. We are expecting some rain in the area possibly on Saturday so make sure to keep a close eye on the weather and this is another barn that's had all their horses ready to fire. Actually Grand Motion had a nice stakes victory last weekend so I'm going to go with Holiday Star that is the six horse coming up here in the Dixiana Elkhorn. Another horse to watch, actually Tom and I agreed on, is a horse that is Carey Street, that is the five horse. Now, if it ha if we get a lot of rain in the area, the rates get scratched off the turf, very dangerous dirt horse, but also connections thinking this horse might run well on the turf. So watch out for Carey Street and also Holiday Star. That'll be my top two choices. And Tom's gonna go with the outside to the 10 Dynamic Sky coming up in the grade two Dixiana Elkhorn. Be sure to make all your wagers at KeenelandSelect.com.